Hello guys! <laughs> it's finally time for another Deathwing video. It's been so long. Uh, Deathwing has been kicking my butt for sure. Um, but this is part three, which is gonna be the jaw. Uh, Deathwing has, you know, his jaw is like a big part of him. Um, and then, so for the female version as well here by Zach. So, I'm gonna show you how I made the jaw. The beginning portion shows you my failure at making it. I went ahead and left it in, and then I made it correctly after that. This is a shorter video of around 13 minutes. Um, but yeah. You guys can also let me know, do you prefer to keep videos shorter around the 13-15 minute mark or longer? Because I know quite a few of my Deathwing videos are going to be sitting around the 45 minute mark probably. Like 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Um, but I don't know what you guys prefer, so just let me know. I'd like to know. Anyway, on to crafting. So, keep a reference nearby, that's always helpful to be able to look back at. Um, sometimes I'll use my phone, but since I'll use my phone to record, I like to keep it printed out. Also, it gives me a bigger image to look at. Um, so here I'm trying to make up the little shapes, because uh, Deathwing's jaw has like these individual bits that come together here. Um, here I am using 2mm craft foam, because my original plan was to do a 2mm craft foam base and then sandwich it in thermoplastic. I ditched that later, um, but this is still the basic idea. This is where I made the pattern and whatnot. So um, I'm showing. I take my pattern, I mirror it, so then I can glue it together to get that little sharp edge. Press plus the little um, the top points kind of curve in towards the face, so that will do that as well. And also, whenever I glue two pieces together that are mirrored like this, when I want a sharp edge, I always give it a beveled edge. So when I glue it together, it has a sharp edge there, which I'm trying to kind of show here. So I glue these together to get just that shape. So I kind of just worked in sections because there's kind of like um, seven parts that come together and then you, I glued them all together later. But I worked on them individually at first. And you can see one of these off on the right hand side. Um, the one at the top there is more pointy at the bottom, and I just did that because um, that piece is going to be the center of the jaw, right in front of the chin, and I wanted it to get that more of an angular look coming in. And here I'm getting the other three pieces, sections I guess, put together. And here I'm getting ready to glue them to like each section together so it's one piece. I will say when I used craft foam, when I first glued all the pieces together, it all kind of wanted to wrap in to itself, um, like real tightly. I didn't have that so much when I switched to EDA foam later. But it's still kind of curved towards my face a little bit, so it does um, have to flex slightly to fit around my face, which gives it that more form-fitting look that I was hoping for. But I just left this part at regular speed to show um, gluing it together, because I feel like I always put everything in a time-lapse uh, speed, so I thought maybe leaving some sections at normal speed might be a little helpful. Yeah, I'm not cleaning these all the way up the sections. These, once it gets to the point where it curves inwards towards the face, that area is not glued together because those are all separate parts there. But you can see it curves into a circle. Um, just the craft foam does that. They will sit something like this once it's on the face. Not like that though. So the plan was to cover this in thermoplastic. I am still very new to thermoplastic. This this cosplay is my first project with it, um, and trying to cover the whole thing and Thebra and get it to look right. It wasn't working for me. Like I know a lot of people do that and it works just fine. I was going to use the sandwich technique. Like here I did this this much here, and at first I thought I kind of liked it, and then I decided I didn't. So I'm starting over now with I believe I am using four four millimeter. Yeah, 4mm EVA foam, high density, 
and I'm using my same pattern from before as you can see here and I'm making sure all the edges are basically beveled except for those little sides where each section gets glued together. I left that flat or a 90 degree cut on those areas so they would sandwich together better. But like the top area, the bottom area, and then the area where the two pieces are near go together, those are all 45 degree cuts. Which I'm trying to show here. So this one side that I'm about to cut right now was kind of awkward because where the top doesn't connect to other piece I wanted that to be a 45 degree angle but then I twist down to a 90 degree angle as I'm cutting for the area that's going to be glued to another section if that makes sense I'm trying to show you can see a little bit there we can see it's cut angle at first and then it's not like a twist but with the black thumb it's a little hard to see but right through there it starts at 45 and that changes to a 90 degree cut. And you see a little section put together here because I basically did the same thing as I did with the craft foam, but with thicker, better foam, BVA foam. Um, and it's definitely holding its shape better too, which was a problem I had before. So I'm just cutting out these last sections here, some of a 45 degree angle on all those sides, except for that little section, again, that gets glued to the you know, other parts. I just found, um, cause I, I did these a few times with different ways to figure out what sat the best way and the way that I wanted, and that seemed to be the answer. And of course I'm using contact cement to glue all the foam pieces together. Um, later I do use the googly eyes for reverence. Those I just super glue on the place. But be sure to heat seal your foam before using googly eyes because your heat gun will melt them, I found out. Whoops. Um, but yeah, here I'm showing again two pieces that are mirrored, they get glued together. Down the center. And not counting uh, the first draw I made that I tossed, um, but just counting the one here that I'm doing with EVA foam. It took me only around an hour to make this jaw together from doing the foam here to the point where I was putting elastic on it and, and making a way for it to attach to my face, which I'll show you later. So this was definitely the quickest part of this entire build. Um, for reference, the breastplate, that was the last video I did, and it took me 25 hours to make just the breastplate. So this one only took an hour. So this was a nice little break to kind of break up between... Um, I was working on the pauldron already at this point, but I had gotten to a point where I was getting stuck and I wanted a little bit of a break, so I made the jaw. And I'm gluing the pieces together now. I'm starting to nice sections of the mirrored pieces. Getting those centered sharp edges together there like this and you see it curves inward towards the top there so that's what I wanted to do and then just stick those 90 degree cuts together And a contact cement, um, you do have a little bit of working time, like if it's not quite right, you can rip it back off. But um, if you let it sit for a while, uh, once it's, it's not going to do that, you have to cut it off. But yeah, you do get a little work room while you're working with it, at least to adjust as needed. And back to time lapse again, <laughs> to get these last ones on there. Yeah, the pauldrons done. Finally, I finally got these LEDs right. They're almost done. The one for the video anyway, I'm just doing one right now. Um, so hopefully that video will be up in a week or two. I'm just down to the point of making those hundreds of little tiny rocks and that's taken a while. Um, but otherwise they're ready to go. So here I'm just using super glue to glue on the googly eyes. I guess this will be the reference later. It's the same thing I did for the claws if you watched the gauntlet video. 
basically and here is how it looks so far all it needs at this point is a way to attach it to the face and I'm <laughs> shaking it because you can hear the googly eyes you can fill it with super glue if you don't want that sound but I thought I don't know I just like this I loved it um, and I'm using elastic with little plastic buckles to um, make a way for this to sit on my face um, and the way I'm doing it, it makes it stuck to my jaw, so when I move my jaw, this will move with it. Um, back when I did make fursuits and whatnot, this was a similar method of elastic that I did for the heads to give them movable jaws, so if you know how to do that, it's the same sort of thing. But I'm using contact cement to glue the um, elastic into place, and then I'll go around that with hot glue later to reinforce. And I just used my sewing machine of a zigzag stitch to attach those little buckles into place. Yeah, so my first one goes around like the back of the head, like the base of the skull, this one here. And it goes, it attaches to both sides there. As you can see, I'm about to put the other side on. So this elastic piece here goes around my head to the back of the skull and snaps back there. And then I'm going to have a second elastic piece that juts off that, that will go in front of my ears and up over the top of my head. And that's what really um, holds it into place, having both of those anchor points. I'll show that in a minute. I'm still gluing on the first elastic. Both elastics got a buckle put on them as well to make it easier to put on and off, especially since I'll be wearing a wig. This will let me um, maneuver the jaw around the wig and also because I'm going to want to eat other inventions and stuff, so this will make it easier to put on and take off. Here I'm reinforcing up the hot glue, like I said, and I put that little piece there to rest onto my chin. Um, hope it will stay in place and be more comfortable as well. That's where it is so far, so now it just needs spinal damage, which I missed in this video. Um, which is just as simple, we'll take the dremel and stuff and it cuts. And now I'm putting the second elastic on there. So I looped it around the first elastic there, right close to the jaw piece. This will sit right in front of the ear on me. And again, it has a buckle, so it'll sit like this. And I'll show it me wearing this later once it goes sewn. Here it is. So you can see there's one that goes up in front of my ears, over the top of my head, and then one that goes below my ears and around the back of my head. So it anchors it right to my face. But it's not like super tight or uncomfortable or anything, and it's super light where it's foam and stuff. The thermoplastic like I was doing, I'm going to do before. So yeah, and it just uh, it's it's what I was looking for. I'm really happy with it. I hope this is helpful, and I'm always happy to answer questions if you ever have any. Um, you can comment below or message me on Instagram. It's usually a good way to get a hold of me as well. On my Instagram in the description below, as I always do. But yeah, you see with the snaps made it real easy to pop off there. Or buckles, not snaps. And just a quick look at it up close. To this point, like I said, all it needed was battle damage and then paint and it'd be ready to go. But you can find my links below. I'll have links to the materials I used. Um, the elastic buckles and googly eyes were all actually from Walmart, but the foam was from TNT Cosplay Supply, I believe, or it might have been Cosplay Crafts. Um, I'll look and put a link below for that. Um, and then the contact cement again, I, and super glue I both get from Walmart. And I'll have links to my social media below, where you can follow my progress. Um, every day that I work on my Deathwing cosplay, I always upload to Instagram, at least on my story, if not an actual post. And I have a story highlight showing all my progress there since I've started. So if you want to follow along, you can follow me there. And if you ever have any questions, you can ask me too. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.